Today I'm going to show you a simple three-step Gmail inbox hack that will boost your productivity and efficiency as a YouTube creator and viewer. So be sure to watch the entire video so that you can harness the full potential of this Gmail inbox secret to improve your YouTube workflow. So let's get into it right after this. Andy Hudson I here. Welcome to my channel where I focus on tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get instant updates when my content goes live. And after watching this video, you'll have an even more productive and efficient way of seeing my content through your Gmail inbox. YouTube does help us with this to some degree with notifications, with comment threads that tell us what's been happening on our channel. But is it the most efficient way to organize our notifications and keep up to date on the content activity for our channel and also on the channels that we like to watch? Because you don't want to miss out on that new potentially viral video that may go up on your channel or on someone else's. And as the activity on our channels grow, it can seem daunting to keep track of all the comments and the likes and even all the videos that we've watched or want to watch in a typical week. What if I were to show you a way to organize all of this YouTube activity right inside of your Gmail inbox and to make it even better to automate the entire process? Make sure to keep watching so that you can follow each step on how to set up this powerful YouTube workflow in your inbox. The first thing you want to do is come to your YouTube channel. So open that up in your browser and you can see my Handy Hudsonite channel here. And again, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. You want to come over here to the upper right part of the screen where your YouTube logo is and click on the YouTube settings. This will bring you into your account settings. And when you get into the settings dialog here, click on notifications, the notifications tab on the left. So you'll see different options here in the notifications for choosing how and when to be notified. And here you want to make sure that you have send me emails about my YouTube activity. You want to make sure that 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 circle has is checked or has the dot in it. Also, when you come down here, I'd like to receive email updates from YouTube about, and you want to make sure that this box, my YouTube channel updates, announcements, and personalized tips, make sure that is checked. I don't check the general updates, announcement, and videos, but you can if you would like. Under channel subscriptions, I like to check the both the push and the email to make sure that you get I get that in both of those formats. You could just put email only if you would like, if you don't really want the push notifications. And then under other notifications, I just checked all of these boxes because I want to be up to date on all the different types of activity that, that's happening on my channel and the channels that I'm following. So that's what we want to set up in the YouTube settings. Now we're going to go to our inbox, our Gmail inbox, and this is where all the magic is going to happen when it comes to getting these notifications. So step number one. The first step that we want to do is we want to set up multiple the multiple inbox feature in Gmail. So we're going to come over here to this cog symbol and click on settings. And if you'd like to learn more about Gmail settings, you can watch my other videos I have on how to do this. Here in the settings, we notice a lot of different tabs up here on the top. And we have to first enable the multiple inboxes feature. So we're going to come over here to advanced and click on that. And we'll scroll down and you'll see this part here, multiple inboxes. This is disabled by default when you set up your Gmail account. So you want to make sure to enable this, but you're not done yet on this page. You need to come down here and click save changes or they won't save the changes at all. It's going to reload your, your Gmail 
by default, I've already changed it within my Gmail settings. By default, you may have a couple of inbox inboxes that have been set up beforehand by Gmail up here at the top. Uh, in my case, I don't because I already took those out. Okay, we want to come back into the Gmail settings again. And this time, you're going to notice that a tab will be at the top that says multiple inboxes. So here, the multiple inboxes, we're going to come in here and you're going to see two columns, the search query and the panel title and different panes because you can set up four, I'm sorry, five different multiple inboxes. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to just set up one. And the search query is something that you're going to want to be specific so that it can parse out exactly what you want in that inbox. So for our sake, we're going to set this up as the YouTube query. And when YouTube sends emails, the address that it sends them from is no reply at youtube.com. That's how they always have that address set up. And I'm going to put a title here because this will help keep your YouTube inbox labeled very easily, very in a simple way. Now you can change the maximum page size for how many conversations you want to show on you, this particular inbox. So I'll leave it at nine and you can display it differently. If you want to have it above the inbox, if you want to really have these front and center when you open your inbox, keep it here. You can ha also have it on the right so it'll give you a split screen effect or you can have it below if you don't really want to have it always showing and you can just scroll down to see that inbox. We'll leave it at the above inbox for now. Make sure to click the Save Changes button. This brings us back to our Gmail inbox and you'll notice now that we have our YouTube label up here and here are all of our YouTube emails in our new YouTube inbox. And then you'll see this gap and down below here is your general inbox where all the other emails are and you will see that your YouTube emails are still in there. It's not going to take them out of your general inbox and put them into your new one. It's just separating them and creating a new inbox that only has your YouTube emails in it. And this is fantastic as it is because it does give us the ability to just see the YouTube emails. And if you click here on the view all, we can go into this YouTube inbox to see only these emails. So you'll see them all listed here. We want to take this organization to the next level to be able to separate what types of notifications we're getting from YouTube instead of just all of the notifications. So that leads us into step number two. The second step of this YouTube inbox hack in Gmail is to set up what are called labels. And I did a video on labels that you can watch if you want to learn more about the way labels work and how they're set up. So in order to get to where we can set up these labels, we go back into settings. You notice settings is now connected to our general inbox. It's not going to be connected to this YouTube inbox. So we click on this cog again, go into settings, and now we're going to go into the labels settings here. We'll scroll down. And all you need to worry about for the sake of this tutorial is the create new label. OK, we want to create a new label for the ability to section out our different YouTube notifications. Now, there are a lot of different types of notifications that YouTube sends out. Everything from new video uploads, comments on your channel, comments on other channels that you have been active on, likes, live videos, premieres, several different types of notifications. And we want to be able to parse these all out so that we can get better organization and productivity in this new YouTube inbox. But the first label we want to create is actually the general YouTube label. And then we can start putting the rest of these labels underneath it and nesting them underneath it. And one cool hack with these labels is if you put an at symbol in front of the label name, it will 
keep this label at the top of your list. So if you want to really highlight certain labels that you use a lot, you want to put the at symbol in front of it. So I am just going to call this one YouTube. It's not going to nest under anything yet. And we will create that. And you'll now see it down here. You'll see that there are zero conversations that are in it because we have not placed anything in it yet. Let's create another label and we will call these, let's just call them YouTube uploads. Now this time we want to nest it under that YouTube label. And I'm not going to put the at symbol in front of this just because it's already nested under this other one. And we want to create that. And you'll notice this notification that says that your new label was created. And you'll see it down here. You'll actually see it indented under this one, showing that it's nested. Let's go ahead and just create a couple others so that we have these to work with in our inbox. So let's do a new channel comment, which would be a comment on your own channel. And again, we want to get nest this under YouTube. Let's see that that's created. Let's create another one. This is new reply. Let's say we'll just say new reply on other channel. Kind of a long name, but helps us to see the difference between that and the other type of comment. We'll nest it under YouTube. Okay, let's just create one more. And this will be the one that, uh, let's say this is going to be the premiere, the premiering of a video. So video premiere. Oh, got the caps lock under there, premiere. And again, we'll nest it under YouTube. Okay, so we have our labels created. And again, you can create as many types of labels as you want and nest them in any fashion that you want. But for the sake of this video, we'll just leave it at that. Let's go back into our inbox and I'll show you how we can assign these specific labels to particular notifications that are coming in. Now, I don't have a lot of YouTube notifications in my inbox at this point, uh, but we'll work with what, what we have. And the reason for that is, is because a lot of my notifications go into another account. And so I had just pulled over a few into this account for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, so let's look at Theo Joe here, he uploaded a video this morning, so shout out to him. And up here, we have our label symbol, and we can come down here, and we can check that label, and we'll just uncheck the social label. And since it's a upload, we will click that, click apply. We now have those labels on here. So if we go back to our inbox, you'll see these labels on his notification. Okay, let's go into the view all so we can see all of our different notifications here. Okay, we'll go into one here where uh, Joanne left a comment on one of my videos. Let's go up here and assign this to YouTube, of course. And then now this one is a new channel comment on my channel. Click apply and you'll see these labels show up underneath the subject of the email. See them down here as well as the one that we did up here before. So you're seeing that this, this is a nice way to keep these organized. Now, if we come over here to the label menu, and we go here to YouTube uploads, this will only show the messages that have that YouTube upload label on it. And likewise, channel comments will show just the messages that have the channel comments on it. 
Now this is this is great and it begins a process of organizing these notifications, but doing this manually is extremely cumbersome and it's extremely time consuming. So how can we make this faster? And that leads me into step three of this hack. The third step of this three-step inbox hack for YouTube notifications involves using filters. We're going to go back into our settings again, and this time we want to click on filters and blocked addresses. Now when you come here, you'll notice we don't have any filters set up at this point, but we want to create a new filter here. You can also import filters, but that is beyond the scope of this video. We're just going to click on create new filters. Now, from this, there's a lot of different ways that we can filter out our content. But in order to automate what we're trying to achieve here with these YouTube notifications is we want to create particular filters for each of our labels. So this is where the filters and the labels are going to work together. So let's just take one of our examples. Let's say the uploads one. Now, with the uploads one, let's go back to our inbox for a minute with these uploads one you want to pay attention to what's being stated in the subject line so here 1a auto parts just uploaded a video craig's tech talk just uploaded a video and find the common thread in what's being said in the subject so it looks like just uploaded a video is the common wording that youtube uses when it comes to uploading new videos so if we go back into our filters setting come down here to subject we could just write just uploaded a video now if you want to focus in on a particular channel you can write the name of the channel before the, before here and say for example 1a auto parts just uploaded a video and then it'll filter out just videos that that one channel uploads so another way that you can specify what type of content you will want coming into that particular label so click on create filter now we need to apply a label so we need to check that apply a label come down here and this is an upload so we want to click on that the youtube uploads and go back here yeah youtube uploads now you'll see down at the bottom and you'll see also apply filter to nine matching conversations so this will work in a backwards manner to apply it to conversations that have already come into your inbox in addition to applying it to new messages coming in in the future so you want to make sure that that's checked and now we'll create the filter okay that's been created let's go back to our inbox and look at this you have this filter now on all of these messages that have been uploaded in a retroactive manner and also any new messages that come in any no new notifications from youtube that come in indicating a video has been uploaded will now have this label on it so you don't have to do anything manually anymore to put that label on those particular messages which automates this completely all right, let's set up one more filter so just to make sure that you are clear on how to do this. We'll come back in. We'll open up our entire YouTube inbox. We'll focus in on the new reply. So I, I had a comment on another channel, and it looks like the subject line is new reply on is the particular wording that we want to use in setting up this other filter. So let's go back into our settings filters and create a new filter so now we want to write new reply on <clears throat> so that's going to be able to parse out that notification we want to apply the label but this time we want to apply it to this new reply on another channel <clears throat> and we also want to have it match that one conversation in my inbox in addition to being able to apply it to new messages that come in. I'll create the filter, go back to our inbox, 
So we come back in here and now we can see that we have the new reply and other channel label on here now and it'll apply it to any other notification coming in where you've replied on someone else's channel. So you can go through and set this up for all the different types of YouTube notifications or even more specific types of notifications if you really want to keep on top of certain channels that are uploading videos or replying to your comments or that are loving your comments. This is a way to just do this in a powerful, easy, seamless manner so that you can never have to leave your inbox to see what sort of YouTube notifications you need to stay on top of. A notification that I left out would be a new subscriber notification. Now we don't get notified about every subscriber just because of the different privacy settings that everyone chooses to have on their channel, their profiles. But when those public profiles do subscribe to you and you get that notification, you can create a label and then a filter to automate that for that particular notification. So a great way to be able to instantly respond to new subscribers and to keep track of them in your inbox so that you can go back and look at the different people when they subscribed and it kind of creates a, a nice log for how your channel is growing. Now that you have your labels and your filters set up in your separate YouTube inbox and Gmail, what else can we do to help keep this even more organized and more tight? Well, what you can do is you can use the unread and the read feature of Gmail. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to highlight my YouTube notification messages and click it as mark as unread. So they're now in bold. So let's say these are notifications that came in that I have not yet responded to or looked at. And the ones in bold will tell me that I need to take action on them in a very easy way. So we can look through our inbox here and just say, okay, all these are ones that I need to act on. And it just gives you a great list of to-dos when it comes to your YouTube notifications. Now, when it comes to labels, we're not done with the different features of labels. We can actually come in here. Uh, whenever you have a new notification that comes into a particular label, it will show the number of notifications here on the right side, letting you know, just like up here in my inbox, I have nine new messages, nine unread messages. It does the same for your label so that you can get an idea of how much you need to respond to. If you hover over that, you'll notice the three dots. You click on that. There's a lot of different ways we can customize our labels. You can choose a different label color. You can, um, in label list, you can show, show if unread, hide. In your message list, show or hide. And then you can even remove the labels if you decide you don't need them anymore, or you can add a sub label. So, for example, example, we can add another sub-label to YouTube right from here. We don't even have to go back into the settings like I was showing you. So big time saver. So small little cool hack there. Okay, so let's give this YouTube a... You can choose from their default colors here, or you can actually add a custom color, which allows you to go in and choose from... A lot of different types of, of colors. So let's choose kind of a reddish color since we're dealing with YouTube. And this is going to really help it stand out. And you can choose this just to fo focus in on just the YouTube label, or you can even have it go down and apply to the sub labels. Let's just keep it on just the main YouTube label. And we'll come back here to our inbox and this is really going to stand out nicely. So you can see the red YouTube here label. And then the sub labels are still the gray. So we can come in here and give them a color if we'd like. Let's say we just want to give this one a blue color. So this will call color um, those comment notifications blue. Let's do the uploads one since that one is prominent here in my inbox. And let's say that's green. 
So now you see how these really stand out and are really popping for productivity's sake. And so as we come into our main YouTube inbox here, um, you can see how these stand out. And I, I don't even have to read what they are, what the labels are. Once you learn what colors you've assigned to them, you can just see, you know right away, this is a, a new comment on your channel. These are new uploads that are, that are going up. So it just gives you a very supercharged way of going through your notifications and having a log of them to be able to go back and see the activity on your channel and the activity in your viewing habits and your, your socializing on YouTube. So you might be asking, well, that's great as far as when it comes to using Gmail on the desktop and getting these multiple inboxes so that I can see my YouTube notifications in a very simple and productive manner. What about on my mobile device? I'm on the go a lot and I don't have time to sit down on my desktop to go through these emails. Well, fortunately, on the mobile app for Gmail, the labels and the filters feature work seamlessly and we can easily find these notifications and and just parse them out with the different labels. Unfortunately, the multiple inbox feature does not work on the mobile device, so you can't see the separate inbox. So let's go into my phone where I have my Gmail app open here. And you can see that I do have my labels that are colored, and this is where coloring your labels really does make a difference because it's just going to make it that much easier to, to see the different types of notifications. So if we open up this one, you see Theo Joe has uploaded a video this morning and you'll see my red and my green labels there at the top highlighting this. And we can open up the menu here and come down to the label section and we can and we can drill down into one of these particular labels. If I just open up just the, the uploads one, then all of this in this particular label are just uploads. And, and then through the, the bold feature of unread messages, we can still follow our productivity thread as far as what we've been able to watch or what we want to watch later. And we can do the same when it comes to uh, the replies on other channels or the comments on our own, or even, as I mentioned earlier, when we receive new subscribers. So even if you're on your mobile device, this is still a very powerful hack that you can use, and it gives you most of the functionality that you'll find on the desktop, minus the ability to have the separate YouTube inbox. So this is just one productivity hack that we can do in Gmail to increase our efficiency as YouTube creators or viewers. And this doesn't have to be limited to just YouTube. This could be for any of our social accounts. It could be for even keeping track of messages from particular people, maybe even people that you do work for as a freelancer or in your business, and to be able to separate out and segregate the different types of messages coming from them based on what they want from you or what they want you to do and easily organize these and have this extreme productivity without ever leaving your inbox. Let me know in the comments section below one thing that you've learned from this video when it comes to this Gmail inbox hack with YouTube. Maybe you have a question over something that I covered. If you already use this technique with your email, even with YouTube, let me know what sort of label system you've set up and how we can increase our productivity by learning from your expertise. And one last thing, if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and remember, you can add me as one of your labels in your inbox now that you know how to set it up with the filters and the multiple inboxes so that you don't miss any of my content when it goes up. And I will see you in the next video.